up, listen. <coughs> listen. This is important. <coughs> Do you remember the six degrees of separation with Kevin Bacon? If you do, then you can add a new stipulation <coughs> to your theorem. <coughs> what would you say <coughs> if I told you flee the basis from the Red Hot Chili Peppers is in a film with Ernie Hudson, the black dude from Ghostbusters in the early 80s? Here's the evidence. Just as much mine as yours. There's Ernie Hudson. That's Ernie Hudson. Ghostbuster. Back to save the world. This is a great movie. Right, now, Flea. 48. No, wait, that's wrong. 40. This. Okay, hold on. Yeah, here we go. Right, Flea, the basis from Red Hot Chili Peppers is in the same film. Look, we're closed. That's a good shot, isn't it? Look at that, that's quality cinema. That is Flea, there's Flea, there you go. He just take a look. Thank you, so fucking kind. Take a look around. All right, we dragged the guy across this parking lot down the pier. Wow. What do you think that is, what, 30 yards all together? Flea's so badass and cool. So, anyway, the moral of the story is that Flea is in this film with Ernie Hudson, the Ghostbuster, and the fat Italian dude who doesn't look like me happens to be called Nick. And it's all coming together and you have nothing to worry about, okay? So let's just make sure we know the name of this film because I don't want to leave you in the lurk. Hold on, is this even recording? Fucking is as well. Right, I don't want to leave you in the lurch. If you want to research this fact, it's called Just Your Luck. Uh, let's try to find the year for you. Uh, that's not it, that's... Oh, this would be hard. This will be hard. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. It will be tough. And I am struggling to work out what year it was. But nevertheless, Flea and Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters were in a film together. And it's called Just Your Luck. So let that be a lesson to you film fans. You awesome creatures of excitable beauty into the zenith of the cinematic arts. Splendid is the aroma of many fine follies of endurance into storytelling. But the more the effort and the better the reality, the more the compelling plot line within a dose of imagined fancy upon cinematographic wonders. Yes, yes. You'll see the apex of man's genius, my friend. And in that... You will understand so much about the knowledge of collective humanity in order to protect us, to guide us, to save us, to show us a way out of oppression. But then it becomes a paradox because it becomes the oppression of the media. But there's no such thing. Are you oppressed by your local news journalist? No. He might write a story about you, but he's not throttling your biscuits and impaling your children, is he? <coughs> For fuck's sake, children. Wake up. You're not oppressed. You're bored. Because the TV at this moment in time 
isn't cutting the level that it should do on the zeitgeist that you're operating in very bravely, might I add, in lucid format. All right, you need proper TV with fucking awesome people like me writing amazing scripts like to which have never been seen before in order to counteract the very issue that we find in this current predicament. Fair enough. I'm not on my own. I got back up, I got supplies, but not that many. And we're depleting. But I need you. I need you now more than anything. To understand everything I've just said is complete truth. And you did see Ernie Hudson and Flea in a movie together. So when you're next playing in the Six Degrees of Separation from Kevin Bacon, which was a legitimate game in cinema fanaticism, in the 90s and possibly the noughties where Kevin Bacon was in so many films if you mentioned anyone in the cinema you could correlate it through six films back to Kevin Bacon knowing someone who was in another film all right did you get that do you understand that that was called the six degrees of Kevin Bacon it was a thing and tonight in just your luck. We have Flea and a Ghostbuster with Ernie Hudson in early, early performances. And it's quite, quite extraordinary a realization of truth. You don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes, do you? None of you do. You never did. You always thought you did. But if you're an atheist. <laughs> Sorry, but you don't stand a chance to get out of here. Now listen to me. We ain't got long. <laughs>